Damon here with IGN News. Since its departure from Earth nine years ago, the New Horizons spacecraft has spent 1,896 days, 3 billion miles, and 18 hibernation periods in electronic sleep. But this weekend, it's going to wake up one last time. New Horizons will wake up this Saturday, December 6th at 3 p.m. so it can make preparations before its encounter with Pluto next July. This is according to the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory. In hibernation mode, the craft is largely unpowered, reducing deterioration to its onboard electronics and lowering operational costs for NASA. On average, it was woken up twice per year from hibernation periods ranging from 36 to 202 days long. Alice Bowman, New Horizons Mission Operations Manager, says, New Horizons is healthy and cruising quietly through deep space, nearly three billion miles from home, but its rest is nearly over. It's time for New Horizons to wake up, get to work, and start making history. This weekend's wake-up call was programmed into New Horizons in August. In seven months, the spacecraft will reach Pluto and conduct a flyby that will give humans their closest glimpse at the dwarf planet's surface to date. Pluto was given the designation Dwarf Planet in 2006, when the International Astronomical Union decided it didn't meet the same criteria as the inner rocky worlds and outer gas giants of our solar system. The team behind the mission has a countdown timer for both the wake-up call and the spacecraft's encounter next year. The light signal indicating the craft's arrival at Pluto will arrive at Earth four and a half hours after it leaves New Horizons, about the same time it takes to fly from Los Angeles to Chicago. New Horizons is only one of two NASA spacecraft to conduct tests this week, following two days behind the Orion spacecraft, which will perhaps one day bring humans to Mars. For all your news from space, stay tuned IGN.